Welcome back to Spinning the Past. I'm going to talk a bit about ratio, wheel ratios, and what that means. So when this big wheel goes around one revolution, how many times does this flyer go? This is a flyer-driven wheel. It's not a bobbin-driven wheel. So I had this little uh, yarn guide, and so I'm go I have I I spun this cotton in the um, the S direction. So I'm going to continue. Normally I would go the Z direction, but this yarn wants to go the S direction. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is twelve. So one revolution of this, this spins around twelve times. That means it adds twist in a one inch section, twelve twists per big revolution here. But I'm not normally spinning one inch at a time. So I'm not going, this would be, you've seen people go like this, they spin and it's just one inch at a time. That's inchworm. That is very, very ineffective spinning. I don't recommend it. So, but I might do, just for this exercise, I might do four inches at a time because I wanna talk ab about something. So if this goes around one revolution, 12 twists went in, but 12 twists went in over four inches. So actually that's three twists, three twists, three twists, three twists. So I would have to do another revolution. And that would add three more twists over four inches. So each inch would have six, 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 six. And again, and again. So after four revolutions, Four times three, I would have over four inches, 12, 12 twists per inch. That seems like a lot, but it isn't. This is cotton, and cotton doesn't really stay together too well, even at 12 twists per inch. I usually use a flyer ratio of about 33 for my fine cotton like this, but I just wanted to give you a, a little reference so what does revolution, what, what does ratio mean? How do I determine it on my spinning wheel? And a little bit on how, how that applies to whatever section you're, you're spinning. If I did a six inch section, okay, I would need to calculate how many ratio, how many times revolutions or how many treadles I would need so that each inch of that six inches would have 12, 12 twists per inch. So you need to do those calculations. You need to get comfortable with those calculations, with understanding the ratio between how many, the treadles, this wheel, and then your flyer, and, and then your whirl ratio. So the, the bigger the, the whirl is, the fewer times it will go around. The finer it goes, the smaller it goes, the more times it will go around. The more times equals a higher ratio. So when you hear people talking about you need a higher ratio, that means you need a smaller whirl. But some, sometimes I will write in pencil what these ratios are. Sometimes you may wanna consider doing that and start learning to treadle to spec, start spinning to specification technical spinning is uh, what I'm hoping that you will get out of this that you will have a consistent yarn this is a consistent yarn this is cotton as I said I'm gonna let it go on so this is a consistent yarn that means over the same amount of inches every time that I treadle I will have the exact same number of of twists and I have the exact same number of fibers so this all of those come together to give you a consistent yarn and this is the kind of thread 
that they would have been spinning in historical times. If you look at the true antique wheels, this, this is an orifice, they were very, very tiny. They were spinning thread. They were spinning primarily for weaving, not for knitting. And that's something that I had to learn over time that they were spinning very, very fine singles that they would ply up, usually just a two ply, maybe a three ply at the most. But then, um, but they knew as the spinner what they were going, what the final project was going to be before they even spun anything. So it wasn't just a hobby for them, it was more of a necessity or production for them. So it's brief introduction, very, very brief on calculating your ratios on your wheels. I'll see you next time on Spinning the Path.